question. All right, how many of you have never seen pictures before? Me! Me. Me. All right, so that means the rest of you must be diehard fans, huh? Hey? Yeah. Oh my goodness, this is our last festival of the season. We start in March and we end this weekend. This is our last festival. And we love this festival so much that we just keep coming back and keep coming back and keep coming back. And at this point, you kind of get rid of us. But for those of you who, for those of you who are new to pictures, most of the songs that you're hearing today are original compositions composed by Talos and Artbeg Piper. Hey. Now the greatest thing about being in a band with nay lyrics is you can call your songs whatever you want. <laughs> Ringo, he's really nasty. Drummers, man. So, the greatest thing about being in a band with no lyrics in your songs, being able to call your songs whatever you want to. Now, a lot of people ask us, where do you get the inspiration to write an original bagpipe tune? Well, I'll tell you. Inspiration comes from a lot of different sources, from Scottish history, Irish history, folk tales, anything that will inspire us to write a song. Now, the way we do it is, we pretend as if we're writing a soundtrack to the story. Aye. So, we heard this story, it came from the north of England, and the story goes that there was a very large cat that was prowling the English countryside, eh? And they called it the Beast of Bowden Moor, eh? And oh, we heard that, we thought, oh, we gotta write a song about that, eh? But, but the, the, where are my cat people? We got cat people here today? Woo! Oh, there's lots of cat people here. So, when we wrote this song about the Beast of Bowden Moor, we thought, we've got to write, how do we write that song? We write it as if you're writing the soundtrack to a cat that's prowling about ready to pounce upon its prey, eh? So, whether it's a, 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 a large cat, look at me, whether it's a large cat out in the jungle, or whether it's your wee little furry beastie in your living room, they all hunt the same way. They see what they want, and they lock onto it with laser precision. And then they hunker way down to the ground like this, and then just before they pounce, they do that thing that cats do that I love the most. Just before they pounce, they... <laughs> what's up with that? What are they, recalibrating? I'm not sure what's happening. I love to hunt. I've never been out in the woods and went, ooh, look a deer. <laughs> I especially don't do that during mating season. <laughs> I learned me lesson. So, when you hear this song, you can think of one of two possible things. First, you can think of the cat howling about ready to pounce upon its prey. Or, you can think about my arse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a bit fair. 